All for one and one for all. If we stick together, we can't fall. The Dragon Force Kateers. Uh, that's right, we're the Dragon Warriors. Except not because the Star Dragon is no more, so we're kind of on our own here, but I think we'll be okay. And that brings us into part 24 of Let's Replay DF2. Team Izumu. Izumu? No, Izumo. So welcome back, everyone. As you can see, we have a bunch of Zodokian officers who have set up shop in many of our regions, north, south, east, and west. Got Kinsera and Shigure there to deal with that group. Well, I will have them to deal with them. I think... Or maybe Kinsera can handle it on his own. So, first thing we need to do is reassess the terrain, the environment, see where everybody's at. See who's closest to whom. And... Hollis is now Central HQ. That's where we're going to end up in the end. We want to get all of our strongest, our best, our boldest, and our brightest consolidated and centralized into that one location. And then we got to see about dealing with that barrier. And one jump cut later, and we're on our way to what castle is this? I think Konuka. If you remember way, way back in an earlier episode, We'd stumbled upon an ancient cave with some old writings in Kanji, I believe, talking about some ancient swords needing a mighty king and queen to unearth them. So we're going to send Kaidich in that way to see if maybe they'll fit the bill. If not, maybe we can scrounge up a last minute substitute. Don't know who that would be. Maybe Autobach and Sanus? No. <laughs> Avers and Rennie, Gongus and Rennie, Bards and Dario, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll go. 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 I'll go.無理だろうな。さあ、こっからどうすれば。二人で息を合わせる。念じるのよ。二人で息をね。二人の力を合わせなければ扉は開かれませんぞ。そんなことできるわけねえだろ。いつまで物々言ってんのよ。あんた強気
So here again, you can always refer to the map if you want to quickly assess the situation, see what castles they've occupied. They've only got a couple left to deal with right now. And by a couple, I mean a few. So this group, let's see, is Rennie, probably Sanus. Yes, because they need to get their levels up. Level three is not gonna cut it for endgame. But you know what? You haven't actually seen them in action too much, have you? Not in this particular session, so we'll go ahead and leave these in. See what they can do. Why not? I'm pretty sure we've seen everybody else up to this point. You've seen Autobach. You've definitely seen Avaris, Sparks, and Gongus. You've obviously seen Kaida and Shin. So, unless I'm missing anybody, that just leaves them. Oh, and I've got to do something about their troops, too. Mages are passable. Monks, at this stage, are definitely not going to cut the mustard. In fact, they don't belong anywhere on a bun. But she does start with 16 MP, which is always useful. You won't find much to complain about in the damage department when it comes to Sanus. That's pretty much why we bring her along. Not to mention how quickly her meter charges back up. And I believe I gave her and Rennie both special books. I gave one of them... Pardon, you know me, don't want to talk over the loud effects. I gave one of them a light book and one of them a dark book. Pretty sure I gave Sanus the light book, not 100%. They're basically interchangeable. They both greatly boost your charge meter, your MP. I think one favors defense more, one favors intelligence. And I think one boosts attack slightly. Their stats are, it's pretty much either or. They're both great items, it really doesn't matter. It's all about that extra MP and the extra charge to make sure that they always go first. Which is gonna really come into play when we get into the Lost Continent or whatever you want to call it, where all the final bad big dudes are going to be. Dudes and dudettes. Pardon me, dudes and dudette. There's a single dudette. And nobody really says dudette anymore, do they? It's just dudes. Everything has become monosingular. Monochrome and monochromatic. Ironically. Isn't it funny? Because you know, one of the big buzzwords nowadays is always diversity. Gotta be diverse, gotta be diverse. But at the same time, you always get the sense that someone is always trying to lump us all into the same category. Like, we all have to be the same. We have to act the same, we have to think the same. I don't know about you, but I don't want to live that way. Let's all continue to be unique. Because that's what we were designed to be. We're designed to be unique, so let's honor that, right? Why does everybody have to be the same? I don't know, I just think we need to grow up a little bit. Allow people to be what they are, who they are and not make a big fuss about it. And then that'll remove this whole pressure for everybody to think the same and talk the same and act the same and not accidentally offend anybody or say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. It's, I tell you, they got us all dancing on eggshells. Excuse me, we got us dancing on eggshells. Gotta do something about that. Oh, but anyway. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> Yeah, don't mind me. You're experiencing me unedited, uncensored, for better or for worse, so... That's how it always is, believe it or not. Don't be fooled now. Just because I'm not swearing like a sailor doesn't mean I'm holding back with you guys. So I hope you're big enough to take it. <laughs> I think you can handle it. I'm not talking about anything really serious here. Certainly nothing to talk about here. Because he's not going to be around for too much longer, whatever his name is. Oh, I guess he didn't like that. He's going to shut us up now. Oh, no. Ooh. Silence.
And while it was nice of the translating team to go through the trouble of giving them individual names, I still can never remember who I'm dealing with, so <laughs> just goes to show. And despite her lack of finesse in fighting, Liddy did pretty well there. Didn't take any damage, I think. Which is unusual for her. And I didn't even give her a high-end weapon. I would like to forge everybody a legendary weapon before the end of this, but due to time constraints, that's probably not going to happen. Because I'm not going to wait around and spend extra weeks just to do that. I'm not going to hit up the caverns to get all the items I need to make sure I can do everything when I need to do it. I'm just going to make what I can make, and if we get to the final fight, that's that's it. That's where we stand. Kaede's already out of the way, thankfully, so Shen will take priority next. And it'll just trickle down to probably Bard Savers. The folks who really need it the most. Because Rennie and Sanus, magic is their focus. I don't look to be getting them into too many one-on-one -on -one combat situations, so them having a super powerful god to rod really isn't at the top of my wish list. Oh, I did give her cavalry off screen, that's right. So let's go ahead and give her those. And not gonna wait for her to patch herself up. Plenty of time for that later. And this is Team Megumi. Now we've seen everybody here before. Everybody who matters right now at least. So we're gonna cut this one out. Be back in a bit. And that was a quick and easy one, as expected. Nothing of note to report to you all, except maybe some levels. Yeah. Anything worthwhile? No. But a level is a level. Yeah, with centaurs, ogres really more or less inconsequential. And this is where we start bringing everybody back to Alice. Oh, except for this group, forgot. Still have this castle to take back. And I did go ahead and send Shigure with Kinsera because I'm not really using Kinsera at this point. He was helpful, but if you watched my other videos, we've seen him in action before. This is all about Team Izumo. And Ralph is slain. For now, they have a tendency to come back. Distant relatives of Bebe, maybe. And no worse for wear there. Might just leave Kinsera there, actually. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna put him back to Merrick. Because I had him there for a reason. He was finding us some dragon skills. And was getting quite good at it too, so we don't want to interrupt that flow. Yeah, at this point I'm really just trying to find things like dragon skills. Iron ore, silver ore, and of course the statues. Those are the essentials. And I highly recommend pumping your chosen monarch with as much MP as possible. 25 minimum, 30 plus preferred. So in this session, that's of course Kaede. And I'll talk more about this later when the time comes, but believe me, if you haven't gotten this far with the game before, either with me or someone else or by yourself, mm -hmm. trust me, you want your leader to have lots of magic. Okay. Also, the game becomes more generous towards the end. I notice it's easier to find really good items. So you're seeing stuff there like statues, dragon scale, builder's tome. And no extra plot drops but an item was forged we need to check on that because I really don't even remember what it was I do believe I made some stuff off screen too just before I started recording so yeah you see there we've got to continue the sword building to get Shin something really nice and yeah we're gonna actually start with him give him a Hayabusa sword but mix it with some silver and dragon scale that's gonna give us the dragon sword and we have two more swords to go after that Hopefully I have time after that to make something else, but we'll see. Builder's Tome is just going to make somebody much more effective in the building and architectural department. If you want your castle to get several levels in one session, this is a good way to help bring that about. In order to get the most out of it, I find that it's good to give these items to people who already have high stats in those areas. 
So don't give it to somebody who's border level. Give it to somebody who's already pretty adept. Whether it's for intelligence or build ability. Then you tend to get more out of it. That's what I found in my experience at least. You know, on that note, I really don't know who this is worth giving to. Yeah, intelligence is different. With build, I say give it to somebody who's naturally strong in that area. With intelligence, it doesn't matter so much. You might want to give it to somebody who's just below 70. But you have to make sure, and again, big thanks to Kirsten for the tip on this. Make sure you give it... If you're going to give an intelligence boosting item to somebody whose intelligence is naturally under 70, make sure you station them with somebody whose intelligence is already above 70. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to find anything. I don't know why that is, but that's how it is. So thanks again for that. Awards time. Everybody who's made it this far has to have at least cavalry or centaurs or archers or a flying unit. Those are pretty much indispensable now. In my experience, the best troops to have in-game are cavalry, centaurs, ghosts, archers, falcons, dragons. Overall, ghost is probably the best range class. Ground class, probably centaurs. Pretty much like cavalry, except they have more movement and more command options. Overall, dragons are, as always, the best unit. But I'm actually probably not going to have any dragons for this playthrough, funny enough. Because I've retired Kinsera prematurely, giving him early leave, and I'm really going to focus on high-end weapons as far as forging. I'm not going to take the time to make a dragon crest. I don't think I'm going to have the time to do that and still get the weapons I want. So that's where we're at with that. So is that everybody? I believe that's all of the rebels. The coup d'etat was squashed before it ever really began. But not really, not quite, because we still have to deal with home base. Which I have to assume was a part of Legendra in the past. I'm guessing that... Oh wait, I might be speaking too soon. I can't remember how much plot has been dropped at this point. But I, th I think I can go ahead and talk about it now without it being too spoiler heavy. I think that when Tyrus and the other warriors did what they did with the Dragon Force, I think it caused this part of the continent to sink under the ocean, under the sea, whatever body of water that may be. And I think that's what caused all this. Where the Dark Elves fit into all that? That I couldn't tell you. Maybe they were already underground, and when that sunk and disturbed them, or awoken them. Or maybe they were another type of people, I'll hold that thought.
Not too bad for those two. I think there's hope for them yet. And right off the bat, we have a battle at Karak. Two names we've surely seen before. Now, those other castles surrounding them look empty for the most part. Don't be fooled. Like I was saying earlier, they're going to fill up really quickly, really fast. So, moving forward, not going to show too many fights in detail except for the ones that really count. And on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and just end the video here. It's going to be a little shorter than the standard, but they're going to get a little longer moving forward. So with that in mind, everybody, thanks for joining me. Please come back soon when we resume our adventure in Legendra. Until then, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and hopefully see you soon.